Hi guys, Top Hops here, and in today's video, we're actually at the new house. I know yesterday I said that we were going to be moving here, but today I actually have some stuff in the house. The problem is that we're not gonna be staying here because I don't have much to work with for a video, so we are gonna be going over to the office and still doing a video there like normal, but I did just wanna show you guys a bit of an update on where we're at, and I kinda wanna show you guys what my room looks like too, and then I'll probably do like an entire tour when it's complete, but for now, Here's all the boxes from yesterday. They're just in this house. That's pretty much it. But anyways, guys, I'm really excited about showing you guys what I'm gonna be doing here. I have a really cool idea about not putting normal shelves up here. I wanna do like floating shelves on the wall all the way across, but the smaller ones, not the bigger ones like we have over at the office, because I think that'll look really nice and maybe I'll do like a huge U2's display or some Funko Pops. I'm not too sure yet, but whatever it is, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go over to the office and let's get started. Well guys, today has been a long day. It is almost two in the morning now just because we literally moved stuff all day and I had hiccups for about a half an hour so I couldn't even film the video as soon as I was done. So anyways, now that I'm pretty much good to go, let's get into this here. And also, I know you guys didn't see much of the house today, but when we do get more settled in and I kind of finish up my room, I do want to give you guys a tour, but for now, it's just a lot of boxes. So let's start with the first thing here, which is a plush, but it is made by Funko, so I do want to show it off and this right here is one of the things that Grant picked up for me over at the HQ and this is the cherry Kool-Aid packet now I know I've been showing off a lot of the Kool-Aid stuff recently but this one right here is something that I definitely wanted to pick up and I will probably be getting more of these in the future because they did make an actual Kool-Aid man one so I definitely wanted to get that one and so you guys can see here this pretty much looks exactly like the common version of the Kool-Aid packet Funko Pop and I actually have that Kool-Aid packet right here and also doesn't look like yeah he stands all right, it looks like he's gonna fall forward, but if you guys wanna see, there is the Kool-Aid packet right there compared to the plush. They are very similar, just the eyes look a little bit cuter on the plush. But I mean, other than that, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Well, actually, one more thing, the Kool-Aid packet pop has a tear in it like you could start to rip it like right here from the top, where this one doesn't. So I guess that's the only other difference, but other than that, they both look great. So really, it's kind of like you're picking. Do you like a figure or do you like a plush better? And then also, guys, I was reading the tag here and it does doesn't look like this is exclusive to the Funko shop or Funko.com. I don't see anything about it, so maybe you'll be able to find this other places. Now, because I can't go to any stores near me, I'm not too sure if any other places are getting them in. But if you guys know of any stores, maybe Hot Topic, Barnes & Noble, GameStop, please let people know in the comment section below so they know where to find them. And also, guys, I do want to mention that they aren't just making Kool-Aid ones. They're also making them for pretty much every single foodie. So if you guys want to see more of these, definitely let me know. All right, guys, now next up, here we have two YouTube's so you guys know what that means it is YouTube's time so I've actually had these figures sitting in the office for maybe two weeks now, so I'm not exactly sure which ones these are, but as soon as I open them up, I'm sure I'm gonna find out. All right guys, so for the first one here, it kind of looks like a cardboard box. I know who this is. Okay guys, let me show you there. If you guys know U2's boxes, you'll probably know who this is right here, but it is, yes, Noah or Hug Box. And so I did get him just because at the time of this figure coming out, I was watching a lot of the Lunch Club stuff, so I definitely wanted to pick up this one right here and because his name is hug box it looks like he made the outside sleeve of his box just a huge cardboard box all right guys now let's pop the sleeve off to see what this actual figure looks like and here it is oh, okay you know what's funny i saw it on the box but i forgot about it he's in a huge jar i don't know why but it was a funny choice and then so on the side here it says surely a hug box u2s and then on the back it says almost everyone seems to agree that this year's big budget modern shooters have been incredibly disappointing games like cod world war ii and battlefront 2 just don't live up to the legacy of their predecessors so what makes today's triple a visually stunning shooters so much less memorable and compel what does that mean no, I know you're not watching, but if anybody could let him know, or please ask, or if anybody could answer in the comment section below, it feels like it just ends on a cliffhanger. Why? Well, anyways, guys, let's just crack into this thing, and I'm sure on the inside it's going to say something equally ridiculous, and it says... I can't get it open. What does it say? You're welcome. Again. What's up? Well, anyways, let's take a look at the figure before we go a little too crazy from trying to read the text on the box. And this one right here is actually really well done. I think the jar was a really great addition to it. And if you guys want to see him, there he is right there. And I'm wondering if he does come out of the jar. It doesn't look like it. 
No, I don't think he does because it's got a peg going into his leg and then also his hand seems to be glued onto the outside. So you can't put whatever character you want inside the jar, but I do think that this is a really creative idea for the figure because I feel like without the jar, I mean, it would have just been a person standing there. And well, all right guys, that was Hugbox. Now let's get into the next figure here. And just like the first one, I have no clue what this one is. So let's just crack into it. All right guys, so I can see the box and it looks like it's blue and orange. And I'm trying to think of who's blue and orange, maybe. Maybe H2O Delirious. That's the only one that I could think of. So let's slide this thing out and maybe I'm right. Actually, this is the front. Let's see if I'm right, guys. I think I am. I think I am right on this one. I mean, it is his channel colors and it kind of reminds me of that orange and blue. So let's just see here, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one. Is it? Is it? Is it? It is! It is! But while it's not H2O Delirious, I mean, it's his V2, which is Teddy Delirious, but I think I'm close enough. And now this figure looks great. This is actually a really big one, and I've been watching a lot of H2O Delirious. He's actually a gaming YouTuber, and oh... Well, that kind of sucks. The outside box appeared to be perfectly fine. Maybe not. There's a little bit of a dent there and maybe a dent there, but look guys, I mean, from the inside, I don't see any dents like big enough to make what I'm about to show you guys. Look at that, I mean, it seems fine. And then for some reason this box, and I mean, I'm not gonna complain too much because I am just gonna be taking them out of the box anyways, but you guys can see here, it is really ding. Like this is the worst I think I've ever gotten a U2s. And I mean, like I said, I would display this out of the box, but I usually like to put the boxes with the figure. So it would probably be like this and then the figure sitting in front of it. So it's not too bad. I just wish it was in a little better condition. And now before we complain about the box too much, let's actually check out the figure. So here we go, guys. This is what he looks like. Wow. That's a lot bigger than the other one as well. And by the other one, I mean hug box, but I always say the figures are way bigger than usual. But again, this one is him sitting with a teddy bear, so it really does make him a lot bigger. And also, let's read this. It says, this is for the Delirious Army, and then on the back it says, my name is Delirious, I am serious. Oh, and this is funny, guys. So on the back of the box, it shows another one of his figures, which was the Crow Lirious. But in the middle there, they have the Bat Coon, which actually came out, I believe, maybe three or four months later. It's now sold out on the website. But that one there was not available when this U2's came out so that is kind of funny that they did put it on the back of the box and then also guys on the inside flap it says the back of your head is ridiculous how did he see that? All right, guys, now let's take a look at the figure here because this thing is massive. And this one really is bigger than a lot of the U2s that you would pick up. So this right here is crazy. Look at this. It's him sitting on top of the teddy. And then he also has a crow on him. So I guess that is like the crow Lirius, not the full figure, but just like a small version of him sitting on his leg there. And then it's got Teddy Lirius and then also H2O Delirious hugging the teddy bear. Now this is a great U2s. And it's actually really crazy guys as soon as i started watching it maybe about a week or two later they actually said that this youtube is going to be coming out and because i really enjoyed his content i definitely had to pick it up also this is kind of funny i have never seen an insert like this on a youtube normally it's got the bubble one where you kind of pop it on the top and bottom but because this thing is so big it's got like a slide on the top there i kind of enjoy this i don't know if they can do it with every figure but it is kind of nice for this bigger one like this and well all right guys that is youtube's time for today but before we get out of here I've got one more pop to show off and this one is kind of crazy and the pop that I've got right here guys is one that I've been wanting for a little while to help me complete my collection and this one here is you guys ready for this drum roll please it is the life-size Vulpix Funko Pop. And this one here was exclusive to Target, and I actually have most of the life-size figures like this. So I now have Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Eevee, and Mewtwo. And now out of all of these characters, I would say most of them are about life-size. The only one I would say isn't is Mewtwo, because Mewtwo's about six or seven feet tall, where the rest of them are probably coming in at about a foot, maybe a foot and a half. I'm not too sure, but they are a lot smaller than Mewtwo. Now, let me actually pop this one out of the box so I can show you guys this one a little bit closer up. And also, I was really excited about this because it is now the Pokemon's 25th anniversary here in 2021. And also, with the Pokemon 25th anniversary, there was those cards that came to McDonald's and I did get, well, 15 packs of them coming because you had to buy an entire Happy Meal. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't buy so many of them that the food went to waste. So I bought 15 of them and they will be coming in the mail very soon for my friend Alejandro who helped me get them because they didn't come to Canada. I know, it's a big mess. But anyways, they will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that video. But anyways, guys, before we get out of here, let's check out this huge, massive Vulpix Funko Pop because I really wanted to take a look at this one because really, this thing is massive. 
And I don't think we've opened up a 10 inch pop on the channel in a while. So it is nice that we are going back to these ones, especially because it is a Pokemon Funko Pop. Now look at that right there. This thing is crazy. And I especially love the tail on this one as well. I think this is really well done. And also something kind of funny about this one is this stands perfect, but I think maybe because of how big the tail and the head is, they did want to give you a base for this. And you guys can see, look at how big the holes are on the bottom of the feet. And then look at how big this base is. It's almost bigger than my head. So I think you just put the base in there like this, and I hope it fits. Some of them didn't fit. I remember it was the, I believe it was the Charmander one didn't fit. I think it was Charmander. Yeah, it must've been Charmander or Squirtle. One of those two didn't fit, but it looks like this one fits really nice. And I kind of like it with the base. It makes it stand a little bit better. And it also gives the figure a nice kind of completed look with the base on the bottom there. But if you guys didn't want to use the base, I think you would be fine because it seems to stand by itself. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. But before we get out of here, let's spin the wheel. All right, everybody, so I got the wheel. Now let's spin this thing and see what we got. Now, because we did talk about Pokemon today, games would be cool, but I don't really care what we get. Star Wars. I think that's a first. All right, guys, so the Star Wars pop that I went with is one that I think is actually really crazy, and this is the Chrome C3PO Funko Pop from 2015. Yes, they were doing Chrome Funko Pops back in 2015, but this one right here is a little bit different from the Chrome Pops that you see now. This one is more like, I don't know what you call it, like just where it's supposed to be Chrome is where they chromed it, and it's not the entire figure. I know this one here was for San Diego Comic-Con, and I am a huge fan of this one. This one here is probably my favorite C3PO Funko Pop in my collection because I really do love the way they made him look so chrome, especially because this is how C-3PO looks in the movies. And also because want to see the rest of the set, there's a Boba Fett, Darth Maul, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke Skywalker, Gamory and Guard, and then of course the C-3PO. And all of these have that kind of like classic Funko Pop look to them and I really enjoy them. And what's cool about the C-3PO is that they used the original sculpt for it but then made it that chrome color and I love that about it. I don't know what it is. This is just one of my favorites. Like I've probably said a couple times now, but I really do enjoy this one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a full with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. B54 thump. I'm a hump. On a bounce. Jack and Jill. Up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Hey. Lama Lassie.